All right. The new chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, Brendan Carr, has said in a statement he released about his immediate priorities for the FCC that he is in favor of exploring the possible sale of more C-band spectrum for other uses, possibly for 5G and possibly for emergency response services. C-band TV spectrum, which occupies from about 4,000 to 4,200 megahertz on the RF spectrum, is used primarily for TV and radio broadcast downlinks to cable distributors and local TV stations. If another auction was to go ahead and sell off more C-band spectrum, this could cause even more interference problems for broadcasters, as the more powerful Earth station signals would overwhelm C-band signals transmitting from space, which are hardly able to power a light bulb. This would mean that C-band dishes would once again need to be outfitted with new filters to match the new spectrum bandwidth, whatever that may turn out to be, if more spectrum is sold. For free-to-air satellite hobbyists, the same would be true. New LNBs with the appropriate filter would be required to quell any ground interference from nearby 5G towers or whatever type of signal lands near C-band frequencies if another auction was to be held. The C-band spectrum has been sold off before. First, the band was shortened on the lower end, from 3,700 to 3,800 megahertz, and then to around 4,000 megahertz, and that is currently where programming is in North America on the C-band spectrum, above 4,000 megahertz. A new auction would make the current red and blue filters useless to guard against interference if new signals crept up the C-band spectrum, again, making things difficult for broadcasters and free-to-air hobbyists alike. Another auction would also put the squeeze on the amount of spectrum available for C-band TV and radio channels. Fortunately, C-band has long embraced the use of more efficient video codecs such as MPEG-4 and HEVIC H.265, which make much more efficient use of available spectrum without sacrificing video quality. And that means that you can squeeze more channels onto a transponder and still get a good quality HD picture, unlike over-the-air television, which still mainly uses MPEG-2, a much older video codec. Let me be clear that I am all for the use of radio frequency spectrum being used to serve the good of the public, such as for emergency response. However, if another C-band spectrum auction was to occur in the future, C-band satellite dishes will once again have to be retooled for protection against interference from ever encroaching adjacent signals.